Okay, this is the underside of the washing machine and I'm going to zoom in on the motor. Uh, that's the motor there. There is the uh, um, band, the, uh, I forget what the name of that is, the band that uh, connects the motor to the drum, um, uh, the belt, that's what it's called. And there, if you want to pause, is the exact washer model details. And what I've done so far, I had the F02 error, and I changed the motor brushes. That is a brush there, that black up and down thing. They were pretty much finished. What's in the way? There's a tachometer. I'll show you where that goes. That's the other brush there, hanging downwards. They're not difficult to change. Uh, what you have to do is remove the motor to change them. To remove the motor is not difficult. All you do is take this uh, oval-shaped back panel off, the insert in the middle of the um, uh, washing machine housing. That comes off with six screws. Um, that gives you access to that bolt there that bolt and there's one below and the motor unbelievably just slides out uh, you simply have to disconnect that one there and the earth and it just slides out and you can get the the whole thing onto the table it's not difficult to see how to do that now the F02 error can be a couple of things it's usually to do with the motor um, it can either be your brushes are too small and you replace those you can easily get them off once the motors out to check that um, I've replaced them and it wasn't the brushes because I turned it back on and it still wasn't working so the next thing it can be is the tachometer this thing here on the very end of the motor spindle is a tachometer you'll probably be wondering what that was um, I've put it back but I want to show you what I found when I prized it off. So you gently just prise it off like that or stick uh, a screwdriver in at the end to get that off. That should have a resistance of 115 to 170 ohms. I'm going to check that at the moment. What that does is that checks when your washing machine is in spin mode that it doesn't over speed. So it's very important to have a working tachometer and if it's not working the washing machine won't let itself run. So I'm wondering if this is the problem. Now, what did I find when I prized that off? A hole, because when I prized it off something else came off with it. Here's what came off with it. This thing here. Now that's got a magnet on the end of it, and I don't know if you can see, but it's threaded. So when I um, found that, it dropped down into the uh, bottom there somewhere of the machine. I, I dug it out after it sprung out. And then I realized it actually is supposed to screw in here. So I'm going to screw it in now. Um, and obvious, it's pretty obvious that that sits inside this housing and turns and that's how the machine is able to work out what speed it's going at so I'm going to screw that in all the way that was completely loose when I uh, prized that off and it shouldn't spring off with the tachometer and you can maybe see there you can see the motor spinning you see that little flickering dot inside the motor housing shiny dot you can see the motor spinning as I turn that. That's completely connected to the end of the motor spindle. So I'm going to just pause a moment and make that really tight. Okay, I held the other end of the motor spindle and I made that completely tight. Um, and now what I'm going to do is put a multimeter on the end of these wires. So they go from there all the way to here to this connector here. I'm going to find the two points they come out there and I'm going to check for 115 to 170 ohms. Okay, so this um, this uh, connector here just pops out of here. Let me just release that from there again. Oh, I pushed it back. It doesn't seem to want to come out again. Oh gosh, two seconds. That's it. That's it out. So it just, uh, it was in there, it pops out, and we can see the tachometer is 
uh, these these two wires which are the very right hand pair on this connector for six so if I can do this somehow uh, hold the phone while I do this okay so it's not the most stable picture but see if I can bring the meter into view as well okay I don't know if you can see the meter but if I take this and put it on there not in there I've got 128 ohms so 115 to 170 our tachometer is absolutely fine 129 128 129 So the tachometer is fine. So with that, I've tightened the spindle in the end. I'm going to put the tachometer back. I'm going to put this all back. I'm going to plumb it in again and see if that works. I'll let you know. Okay, I'm just putting the tachometer back now. I need to pull some cable up a bit. And I simply, we simply press that in. Nice and firm. All the way. Check our motor will move. Yep. I don't think that tachometer can come out of there. I certainly can't get that in any further. I'm pushing the full weight of the machine on its springs with my fingers there. And then I'm going to reconnect these two block connectors here. So I need to remount this one on the housing. That's fine, that's in. Let's pop this one back. Make sure those are together. Yep, that's very firmly in place. And now I'm going to try the machine again. <laughs> 